we're going to start today's episode where we left off last episode. I have been AFKing at my very inefficient gold farm, which is why it's taken an entire evening to get just a small amount of gold. So I've been steadily crafting these into bars and feeding them to the pigs, which have then been giving me a lot of stuff. So check it out. I mean, the black stone's probably the best example. We've got nearly three double chests full. And the reason I've been doing this is because this is going to be a huge bit of stock for the barge expansion that we are working on at the moment. But since this is a bit of a long-term project, it's something that's gonna have to happen predominantly off camera, especially as you can't make any content out of being AFK. Unless you're mumbo jumbo. So we're heading back. Man, I've, I did not miss this tunnel. We are currently heading back to the shopping district where we need to make more progress on our mini game as the clock is ticking to get it finished to discover who's going to win the turf war. There we go. <laughs> our still very wingless aeroplane. Do you know what? I actually saw a comment which I loved and potentially could be something that I change about this design. So what they said was, why don't I make it an airplane that's like crashing or like, you know, something's on fire and that's why you have to jump out of the plane. So if I can do that, I will, but... Sorry. Can we just all agree that I was gliding very slowly? Thank goodness I was in here. I feel like that did not deserve a death. So the first thing that I want to do is lay out the square that we're going to make and we're gonna start the biggest grinding dig you've ever seen. We've got to go all the way down to bedrock. So this is this is not gonna be particularly enjoyable, but it's something we gotta do. So let's get into another hole digging. As if I haven't done enough hole digging <laughs> this series. Okay, let's go. been digging for so long I'm now in my Christmas skin. If this video is a little bit late, and by a little bit I mean by a few days, I think you realize why. This was nine straight hours of building and someone's, <laughs> someone's written hello in there. And I think we can all agree it was nine hours wasted because this is one ugly hole. But don't worry, I have a plan. You see over here I have a nice gradient to surround it. That's right, even more work for me. So I've gathered up some blocks and starting from the bottom, I'm basically gonna layer this up bit by bit, chunk by chunk, until we have a really nice looking inverted dirt cube it should look like. Man, I realized for the sake of 60 blocks, I wasted two days. So people really better appreciate the extra depths I went to, the puns, to get this to work. I also have to shout out to Tango because I uh, I AFK'd and died here. I lost some stuff. He went ahead and collected up all my gear so that I didn't miss out. So, I mean, it's quite a long drop now. In theory, I have to skydive through things and then I will plunge into water. That little bit of extra space does make a difference. I'm just not sure whether it was worth the nine hours I spent losing my marbles. And it's not even over because now we need to go into another building time lapse of making this look a little bit nicer. So yet again, let's go and lose some more marbles. I mean, I've only got a few left. They're rattling around in there. wonder I can't see anything as stupid wall. Normally I'd say let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're done, but there's something a little more important that I've just found. An afk -er. Oh, they're holding a totem as well. It's like they're asking for it. Hmm. What can we do? Here. As a matter of fact, I actually happen to have. Yes, I have! <laughs> I actually have a bunch of obsidian. So, I mean, it's the oldest trick in the book, but why not? 
the old obsidian cage. There's no easy way to get out. You just gotta kind of accept your fate. I know he's on my team, but you can't AFK around me. It's just the rules. He's properly AFK. You know what? Let's make this even more interesting. The more time that I have, the more interesting that it gets. <laughs> I think Ren's cottoned on to what's going on here. Shh. Just remember, this is for Doc's own safety. Nothing to do with prankage. It's 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 for his own good. <laughs> everyone's <go> <laughs> everyone's in on it. We're about to make this a whole lot more interesting. A whole lot more interesting. It's like an unwritten rule that if you go AFK like that, you're kind of fair game. We got two layers of obsidian, a layer of lava in between. I guess we'll see how he reacts to this. And it shouldn't be too difficult for him to get out, but it definitely is going to be a bit of a shock. And now we cap off this obsidian cake with another layer. Mwah! The worst Rubik's Cube you've ever seen. And I can't actually see it. There he is, somewhere inside there. Doc is going to get a nice surprise from one of his teammates. And he won't even know who did this. I'm going to, I'm not even going to, I'm going to blame Hep stir the pot a little bit. This was, this was, this was Hep's doing. But anyway, we just got out of a time lapse and I got distracted by the very AFK person. So I have completed this and I've firmly, and I mean firmly, only have one more marble in my possession. I have lost my mind making this stuff. This serious amount of time and just, I don't know, like not a lot of benefit, but at least it looks pretty good compared to how it was. But I think we need to acknowledge just how insane 24 hours have been on this server. So yesterday, I had just completed the big hole. And look what's popped up. A giant maze, which is, I've got to say, Doc, not the best positioning. It's kind of raised out off the ground. Little bit odd, but I, at least you've decorated it really, really nicely. Got my mini game popping up. Ethos game, which I'm not even sure what it is, and a couple other mini games, like loads of mini games, have popped up and been decorated really nicely. The only issue is that the rest of the island looks like a massive, and I mean massive, eyesore. The amount of activity around this area has been insane, but I guess it really does fall to me to try and make this look a little nicer than a giant square. Scar's made his game over here. I don't know what he's doing, but look at this. Crazy, crazy stuff. So I can't wait to see his episode. With that being said, there's a lot to do. All work in progresses, including mine, which we're going to come back to a little later on because, like I said, this place is an eyesore. And if you don't believe me that I've been mining for 13 hours straight, just look at the chests of materials that I have. I mean, they're all going to be stock in the barge, but I mean, look at this nonsense. It is just never-ending stuff. I'm actually struggling to find free space in it. Now, the reason I point this out is because it's about to get worse. You see, because this is such an eyesore, I'm, it's kind of my responsibility to do something about it. So you see this here? I'm going to mine all of this back, and I'm going to try and make like a backboard to this whole thing just to try and tidy it up a little bit because it is close to the shopping district. We do want this to look nice. It's just a lot of work and I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be down to me. What on earth are all these shulker boxes for? Why has everyone got buckets of green in here? Sorry, did I just say buckets? I think I just invented a new word. Box? Buckets? Buckets. Spot on. Who's left several boxes of green? Come back! Come back! He's making a bid for it! Alright, well that's probably one of the weirder finds of today. But either way, we need to get into making this place look a little nicer. I'm hoping some of the other hermits might help me, but I kind of brought this on myself, in all fairness. So, for the third time today, and the reason that I am going to call this episode, so I did a little mining on camera, is because I've done nothing but mine on camera. <laughs> So I'm going to say it again. Let's go. And we 
are done. We've got a nice backboard to this whole area. I'm gonna say right now that it's not absolutely perfect, but you know what? For the time that I had and the blocks that I had available, I think it's a real improvement. You don't even realize that the Mesa is literally on the other side of this. So I think, I think overall, a massive, massive success. But there's also been another success. Ow. You see, last episode, I tried to make an airplane in the sky. And it didn't go well, just kind of looked like a floating cylinder. So, a friend of Corallis's called Fifi actually gave Corallis a design to put in the game and I woke up today and what? There's a, there's a fresh plane. A, a, I don't know what kind of plane, an amazing plane. This is so much better. We gotta go and have a little look at this. This is so much better than anything I could have created. So massive thank you to not only Corallis, but Fifi on his server that went ahead and made this because I can't believe it. I, I really like it. Looks absolutely fantastic. And so this is now the launch platform that you come out of. I'll probably add another one on this side as well. So you have a couple of options. And I still need to make the rings. But that's the last thing I need to do, and then this game is done. So, check it out, you gotta fly around and try and get in as quickly as possible. And I actually need to check, very quickly, whether this kills you or not. I haven't actually bothered to see whether one block of water is enough. I, I think it is. I think one block of water is enough for you not to die. But we're gonna find out. Uh! That doesn't make much sense, does it? If this was real life, I would be a green pancake on the floor. So, physics aside, I think this has gone pretty well. You're probably wondering what this scaffolding is all about. Well, this is me planning out all of the rings, the bit that you actually have to worry about. Flying through the rings in the skydive. And this one was just to find out where the center is of the plane. So we can get rid of this one. Oh man. Oh, it's still going. Hey, it's snowing! Well, actually, this is this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to snow for Christmas in the UK. Yeah, it's not quite the same, is it? Man, it's, it's still coming. So, today is officially the deadline for the games to be completed. We're not playing them today, but they are completed. And we're gonna start arranging for everyone else to get involved in the games this week. And it looks, for the most part, like games are pretty much there. From what I can tell, most of them are ready to go. Maybe Scars needs a couple more minutes on it, but overall, I think we're pretty much ready to go. And I might even add a couple of surprises, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll tell you what, I've had enough of this area for a very long time. I'm, I'm, I'm sapped of energy. I can no longer mine on camera. That took 13 hours. That took several hours. I am out. I've had enough. Oh, wait, I forgot about the mess. The fruit of my labor is here, and I'll tell you what, I don't know what to do with it. I really don't know what to do with it. It needs to be collected up in a sensible way. I've run out of shulker boxes. You know what? That's that. That would be a nice break. We're gonna go to the end. Not been to the end in a long time. Because I need shulker boxes, and I believe, last time I checked, the chest monster was completely empty. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Stock is low. Maybe. What? Did, did anyone hear that open? I definitely. I 100% heard one of these barrels open. Is there a villager in here? So many animals have been stuck in here. What on earth? There's a villager in here. I can I can hear them. Why, hello there. How long have you been hiding in here? Oh my goodness, it's from all the way back. You have saved me. This is from all the way back during the mayor campaign. When everyone was running for mayor. You've been stuck under there for like eight months. <laughs> you smell like you've been stuck under there for eight months. 
That opening of the barrel was your way of saying, Oh, please, please help me. Well, I have liberated you from your cage, and unfortunately, I must liberate you from your head. <laughs> or rather, liberate your head from your body. We've had a particular issue with lag in the, in the shopping district recently, so all of those stray mobs, they've got to go. But I do feel kind of guilty now, actually, because that was uh, the lone survivor. Right, I'm all ready for a little bit of solo end busting. Just realized I don't actually know where the end portal is at all. But I have just found a Christmas district. We are 100% gonna visit that. Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is? <laughs> Very. Whoa! Check it out! I knew they'd made an advent calendar, but I didn't realize how big it was. This is enormous! Doesn't that just fill you with nice, warm, fuzzy feelings? I wonder which number is for me. Anyway, I just wanted to check this out. What an amazing build. And what a snowball. No, but let's not get distracted because we need to try and find this end portal. Turns out it's down here and I've never actually used one of these guys before. Striders? I can't actually figure out what these look like. It somehow both resembles a jelly bean. And a 40-year-old man. Hey, now we're wobbling. This is not the most efficient way to travel, I believe, but <laughs> it's certainly pretty fun. Ah, oh, we're here. Man, it took me like 20 minutes just to find this place. Whoa. That is bright. Okay, so I feel like we're kind of ready. Let's go and get ourselves a few shulker boxes. Uh, well, it looks like this end city has been more than just raided. It's just gone. Straight up gone. So while we're looking for a real end city, I need to tell you about something really strange that happened while, while I was on the server, but I wasn't properly recording. So I was making the turf war sign and Etho comes up to me and he says like, do you see, ooh, there's an end city. No, he didn't say there's an end city, he said, Take a look at this. And I was like, what? And look at this footage. The man is, I've never seen this bug before. I've been playing Minecraft many years and this is a very strange bug. He is constantly stuck in Riptide and just spinning. He could crouch while spinning, fly while spinning, do anything while spinning. I would I would, I would love to, to know how to make this bug work, but I, I just thought I had to share that. So we are here and we are here to collect these guys for sh oh, shulker boxes. <laughs> what is going on? Oh! Some nice diamonds and an elytra. Now hopefully I won't have to spend too much time here, but at some point I really need to do like a proper end busting session. Okay, one end city down. And nearly a stack of shulker boxes. I don't think that's even enough. I think I've got to keep going. How many an endermen can I make angry? Hello? Oh, I guess they can't see me from here. Can you see me? Oh yeah, you see me. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I can't see where I'm flying. It's not loading. Finally, another end city. I've been flying for like 10 million years and that's not an exaggeration. I never exaggerate. Oh, someone's already been here. It's like finding out that that slice of pizza that you left in the fridge. It's like someone, someone's taken it and eaten it and there's nothing you can do about it, but you're still angry. Can't believe they ate my pizza. If this one's raided, we're calling it quits. Looking good so far, potentially. Yeah, we go. Couple more of these. At the end of this one, we should have enough to be able to take the fruit of our labor from earlier in today's episode and organize it and get it out of the way. Cause there, that's just an obscene, there's probably more stuff where I just did that mining project than my, in my entire base. And I think that might be a fact. 
All right, let's get out of here. I think that's more than enough shulker boxes. And I thought I would enjoy today's end bust, but I must admit, I did not. It, it, it took me a really long time to find end cities that weren't raided, and it was uh, not quite as exciting as I imagined. Now all we need to do is find one of those ender pearl flavored Tic Tacs to get out of here. I think that's the best description of these I've ever come up with, because that flavor right there, I would describe that as ender pearl. And we go back. Straight back. I don't think we could have taken a more direct route. Okay. This may take so long that I may even need to... T I may even need to time-lapse sorting out items. That's how many there are. This is gonna be... Not fun. Okay. Let's get this... Let's get this done. Check it out. Pretty much spotless and clean. I'll let you decide in the comments how long you thought that would take because I bet none of you will actually guess how much time we waste searching through chests and stuff. Despite my complaining about that for the pretty much the entire episode, we did get our game pretty much finished. We'll have to do probably just the, the rings at the start of the next episode give it a test and hopefully next episode we'll actually get people to play in the real thing the, the mini games begin however despite me complaining about the many many hours almost a day that i spent mining stuff check it out i have tidied it up and put it all in the barge now i started this whole thing a while ago the second layer of the barge but this is selling it by the box and you can see we got stone Six. Six diamonds per box. So that's a mega deal. A mega deal. That is... That is amazing. Both cobblestone and stone, six diamonds a box. But then I looked at this. Like, there was loads of boxes missing. And I looked and people have been buying it. I know it's a good deal, but... What? What? That is a, they basically bought all of the stone, all of the cobblestone. So I think we're onto a winner here. There is a serious amount of stock that has gone into this. Now I have done slightly more nine diamonds for andesite, granite, and for diorite, as well as mixed terracotta. Like I said, there is so much stock here. If all of this sells or sells even a little bit, I am in for some major, major profits. Another casual 18 diamond blocks. But it doesn't end there because there are even more sales. It's a slow burner, but it does so well. And with that, I think I'm going to have to call it a day. More than a day. It's been a very long week. In fact, I'm so tired. This episode has taken it out of me. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go to bed. And I shall see you in the next episode where we will conclude the turf. Woo!